Muling iginiit ni Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. ang hindi nagbabagong posisyon ng Pilipinas sa usupin sa South China Sea. Iyan ay sa pagharap sa Melbourne, Australia kung saan umani rin ng papuri ang Pangulo mula kay Deputy Prime Minister Richard Morals. Si Alan Francisco sa detalye. Rise and shine, Alan. Sa mensahe ni Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. sa Lowe Institute sa Melbourne, Australia, muli niyang iginiit ang hindi nagbabagong posisyon ng Pilipinas sa South China Sea. Pero binigyang diin niya ang matagal ng pagkakaibigan at relasyon ng mga Pilipino at Chinese people. At the same time, Centuries of friendship and kinship bind the Filipino and Chinese people. We pursue with the People's Republic of China comprehensive strategic cooperation founded on mutual respect and mutual benefit. Our independent foreign policy compels us to cooperate with them on matters where our interests align, to respectfully disagree on areas where our views differ, and to push back when our sworn principles such as our sovereignty, our sovereign rights, and our jurisdiction in the West Philippine Sea are questioned or ignored. Ang kanyang posisyon sa West Philippine Sea ay bahagi ng kanyang sinumpaang tungkulin ng maupong pangulo ng bansa. Ito'y kahit na sunod-sunod ang mga insidente sa South China Sea. It is unfortunate that despite the clarity provided by international law, Provocative, unilateral, and illegal actions continue to infringe upon our sovereignty, our sovereign rights, our jurisdictions. This pattern of aggression obstructs our path towards ASEAN's vision of the South China Sea as a sea of peace, stability, and of prosperity. We simply have no choice. We must defend the territory of the Republic. And that is a primordial duty of a leader. Sa parehas na speaking engagement, umani ng papuri si Pangulong Marcos. Sinabi ng Australian Deputy Prime Minister Richard Marles na tumatag ang ekonomiya ng Pilipinas sa kanyang paunungkulan sa gitna ng krisis. Emerging from the pandemic, a key focus for President Marcos has been uh, his economy. And being very proactive on that, as we began this year, inflation was reducing. And in terms of economic growth, there was no stronger economy than the Philippines in Southeast Asia. Ngayong Enero, sinabi ng Philippine Statistics Authority na bumagal ang inflation o pagtaas ng mga bilihin nitong December 2023 kumpara noong November ng 2023. Kinilala rin ng Australian Deputy Prime Minister ang pagkukusa ni President Marcos na pamunuan ang Agriculture Department noon bilang political mission para makamit ng bansa ang self-sufficiency. Pinuri rin ng Australian official ang Pangulo para sa performance ng Pilipinas sa buong ekonomiya ng mga bansa sa timog silang ang Asia. Lalo't natukoy ng Pangulo ng economic security ay isang national security. Mula sa Melbourne, Australia, Alan Francisco, para sa Pabansang TV sa Bagong Pilipinas.